You ever been pinpointed for something um, under like a category of ty a type of person or people just because you have similar attributes? Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Recently I've been uh, around people who have done what I just described and it's kind of aggravating to me. I hate it when people have a tendency to like just like, I, I don't know. There's a, there's a re let's put it this way. There's a very big reason why I don't talk about either politics or religion. This is why. And it's gotten worse over time. It's not even just those two anymore. It's almost, you can name a large category of a type of person, and if one of those, if a large fraction of those type of people have to, like do something that's completely wrong or bad, the whole whole group of them is going to get pinned for it even if there are some people out there who have nothing to do with it good example people who are emo now emo by its stereotype are, show the kind of people who are always down and depressed they always write dark poems they always wear all black their hairstyle is actually usually kind of like this a lot of the time, at least for a guy. Hair is black, usually dyed, if not by uh, normal means, but quite frankly, they, a lot of people, the people who look down on people who are like that pin every emo for it, every single one. Not all emo people are like this. Technically, I am emo, but I'm also a very po uh, positive person a lot of the time. Because emo itself, the term, I mean, come on, it's short for emotional. Anybody who's emo is basically someone who um, goes and just like, it, it, it actions impact them more than others, I guess. No, no, not I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But people don't take that into consideration they only take like the stereotypes and take what they've experienced and then pin everybody for it since i'm emo that's why i'm using that as an example is because people have done that to me i have maybe one or two dark poems out of all the poems i've written and a lot of them are actually either goofy upbeat or just downright weird like good example of what i'm talking about here um i sometimes do parodic kind of poems like I don't know if that's the right I don't know if that's the word parodic but basically parody type poems where I'll take the instrumental from a song and make a parody out of the song but just make out a poem not exactly do a par a direct parody a uh, good example as I said before would be a parody of dude looks like a lady I did call or a poem that's based off that it's called the Green Shoes Rebel. It goes to the same beat. It has the same stuff. And it was actually just kind of a spoof type thing based around a manager at my first job uh, named Jessica. She used to wear green shoes to work all the time, even though it, it, we were supposed to wear black shoes specifically. Black, no slip shoes. Mm, she wore no slip, but they were always green instead of black. So I kind of made a joking song off of it. And it, I don't know, it was kind of a goof, just kind of a goofy thing to do, because why not? Uh, but I digress. My point in that is just that I, it's kind of just to direct the examples of what I'm talking about, which, again, I'm emo, and yet I'm not negative a lot of the time. People base, people look at stereotypes and the group of people they've seen and just implement it into everyone else. This is one reason why I don't talk about religion. For example, the Mormon Church, as many call it, um, also known as the LDS Church, Church of Latter-day Saints, Church of Jesus, there are so many different names for it, but it's more well commonly known as the Mormon Church. People hate on it for one reason. A lot of members are not very bright. A lot of members of the church have 
that particular church I've downgraded to be very um, self-centered. And because a lot of them have done it, all of them are pinned for this. Literally every last one of them are pinned to be that way. Even though a lot, even though a lot of them are that way, still a lot of them are not. It's just people experience all this in the wrong way. And I don't know. I'm, I, I mean, I'm open reign at this point. I look, I give and take from each religion and just take what I believe and go for the, go from there. But I don't know. I guess another good example would be politics. And recent events have shown this too. I am just kind of that neutral point. I don't have a specific one I'd like to follow just because I take... I believe some from one side, I believe some from the other. And I'm just focusing on the major ones in America, which are Democrats and Republicans. For those who see this who don't live in America, that's what that is. And those are the most notable ones, and they always are at it. One will pin the other for everything going on, the other will do the same in reverse. But it's kind of, the, the reality of it is, it's both sides. Both sides have issues. Both sides have their own problems to deal with. Both sides, like, and yet they take it on each other and blame the other side, which is a more human thing to do. But the fact that when somebody looks at, like, say, say the Democrats do, uh, say Republicans do something stupid or Democrats do something stupid, the other will look at the group of people, the small group of that large group of people who've done it, and then pin the entirety of the large group, say, that entire large group is this way. Which is wrong and annoying. I don't know. I've been ranting on this for about seven minutes now. What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments below. This is why I don't talk about things like politics, religion, sexual appeal a lot, or race or anything like that, just because I don't like that kind of thing. I'm not going to come, have people come off that way. But let me know what you guys think, what your guys' opinion are, but please try to keep it friendly. Um, or at least not hateful. Um, just put them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this kind of content, this kind of live content, please consider subscribing to the channel because I put up one of these every day. If you like this video specifically, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And once again, if you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. Once every day, a video goes up. Uh, if you want to check out any that you've missed at this point, a lot of them are going to be on the sides of my head about, about me and discussion and rant. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Uh, i got some stuff i got to take care of. But I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.